Oh, hi. I thought I'd take a minute out and share this watch with you. Uh, as you can see, immediately it's uh, growing, very much underrated, you know, not being a railroad watch, but this one's a very special growing indeed. It's the finest watch that they ever made or produced. It started about 1924, this model. It's the 50th anniversary watch. Uh, and they made a short production run of 600 in total, being uh, the 50th anniversary, and that's based upon the 12 months times 50, making 600 watches. And I've also read that they actually had enough overrun parts to make a further 50, and that was for one for each year. Uh, those can be identified by looking at the serial number, that could, they will start with an 01, like all the way to 050. Uh, that's another interesting one to look out for. All these anniversary watches came in an 18 karat gold case in yellow or white or, or even platinum. Some were, people had the custom cases made in diamonds and platinums and other options. What makes these watches uh, so special? If you can see there, I hope this camera gives a reasonable image. The plates and the bridges are all made out of solid 12 karat gold. Even the main plate is just a large chunk of 12 karat gold. They were going to use 14, but obviously for engineering reasons, they went to the harder 12. Each and every screw on the plate all have their own little steel cups set in there to, to maintain the integrity of the plates. This one's marked 21 jewels plus 2 diamonds. Uh, they've got, got a couple of diamond end stones on the escape and balance. Beautiful watch. As I say, just serviced it. It times out beautifully. The case is as new. It's escaped abuse and hacking over the years. So truly, one of the last surviving should we say rare? I know people hate that word, but also let's throw in the word mint as well just to finish it off. You need to go to my website. If you go to my website, the second tab down, I think it says uh, interesting watches, click on there. I've got some close-up photographs of the hand engraving and the movements. And there's many other interesting watches there to look at. Anyway, thanks for listening.